and welcome to the Transport for New South Wales Vlogs channel. I'm just here at Olympic Park for the 2016 Australian Bus and Coach Show. Inside the dome, we have a lot of new buses that will soon, they have either entered service or will soon enter service from a whole lot of different companies from around Australia. So as normal, sit back and enjoy. And I'm now in the bus show in front of us is a B11R chassis, a B8R chassis, and I'm in the Volvo section. Now, as you can imagine, there's going to be a few uh, just chassis sitting here. This one obviously being for a coach and it looks a little bit short that's due to it hasn't been extended yet to be put uh, underneath the bus and we've got the custom lineup this one is Inverell bus service custom coaches CB80 series 2 on a man 18.9 sorry man 19.320 then We've got a gravel road bus from Custom, CB50, on a mid-engined Iveco chassis. And we've got a normal uh, SB50 on a Merc 0500 chassis. And something for the people from the Central Coast, busways, Kingcomer Gosfords, 1209. And a look at what power is it? Man 19.320 chassis. And stuff about the CB80 series 2. And custom Australian designed and made. The accreditation for people wondering this bus will enter service next Monday. Opal and ticket machine already installed and typical busways blue vinyl seats. And a walk back down the front. As you can see, new uh, passenger display screen from Mobitech. They should uh, display all the next stops coming up. And here's a look inside the driver's area. And I'll just open it. steering wheel and the side panel. Ladies and gentlemen, starting a few minutes. And the Hino display. So this bus is built by PND Coachworks on a Hino RJ8 uh, and chassis I think it is. And something slightly smaller, a Hino Poncho. I'll give a look inside the P&D driver seat and looking towards the back not that you can see much because there's no lights on 
and Hono Shazzy. And of course, Mercedes Benz. The best or nothing. Mercedes Benz 0500 chassis. And a CB80 Series 2 on 0500 LE. Drive the seat dash already there as normal all the wiring how would you like to have that job no thanks and I wouldn't like to be driving this bus because you won't see it's fully wrapped in Mercedes-Benz ads and this chassis is an 0500 RF-3 chassis for a coach And there's a look inside the CB80. A smaller Mercedes-Benz bus. Pretty sure Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. And one built by BCI. Mercedes-Benz 0500 RF. BCI City Rider in the BCI section on a Mercedes Benz uh, 0500 LE and a coach version on Mercedes Benz 0500 RF, then BCI Classmaster. Then a BCI City D. See, it's a double decker. A few other things. A look inside the decker. These are a bit narrow, but I suppose it is a bus. Facing the rear, and then facing out the front. And you've even got a TV up here. Anyway, I'll see you at the next section. And from the Sydney Bus Museum, got a PMC Mark 1 on a Mercedes-Benz 0305 chassis. The fleet number is 19. 23. Can't really help not getting people in the way, but anyway. If you're wondering what livery it's in, it's in the Public Transport Commission livery. <laughs> this lovely little thing. Not too sure what it is, but oh well. Registration is 2767 MO. And the Yutong display. This is more of a coach style bus and a mini bus and moving this way smaller tour bus and a sort of a school bus type thing something more familiar state transit 2142 from Waverley Depot to custom coaches CB60 Evo 2 on a Mercedes Benz 04 uh, sorry 0500 
at least CNG chassis. And the Sydney Bus Museum. An old. Yep. AEC. An old thinger. Lovely old Leyland Decker. And an ex West bus behind it. Into our right bus street light buses. Obviously, this is the smaller version and the longer, more city friendly version. And a few buses from Patico Automotive. Obviously, Mercedes Benz. And a few Asian buses that look like Toyota coasters, but aren't quite. And another state transit bus, 2790. Bus Tech VST on a Scania K310 UB chassis. From the Port Botany Depot. And it's wrapped in an ad for B Bus Aware. This is part of the Transport for New South Wales display. Another Asian builder, Bon Luck, sort of the coach version. School buses and another coach and tour bus. And Denning coaches display. 14.5 Denning Phoenix from Kangaroo Bus Lines in Queensland. Just more of a look at the Denning. I'll even go inside it for you. A few coach seats just sitting there. Driver's seat. And dash. Looks very luxurious. And it's got 2x3 seating. And that's just looking towards the rear. Another thing about this bus that not many people may have seen before is this bus has a back door in it. I won't go out the back door due to people just outside it, but I'll definitely show it. Coach design display on a Volvo chassis. TV 8168. Ladies and gentlemen, at 30 today at Stan 117. Then Express. Australia will be conducting a technical workshop on air conditioning. With a school bus. The workshop will include a demonstration of OptiBelt Red Power 3 maintenance free belts. That's the Mercedes Benz workshop at Thermo King, Stan 117. And now the man display. And we've got train devs, uh, South Granville's uh, 6413. Chinese built Gamaling uh, double decker. and a bit more of a better look at the outside I won't go inside this one but the next one we'll see being a double decker will be a bus tech CDI so I'll go inside that definitely and another 
bus from the man display from Kara, uh, Kuma Coaches, sorry. With branding Big Man on the front of it and it's TV 8901. Which are it's a coach designed this body. And now Huaga with the Cummins ISL engine in the rear. And then they do smaller type buses. And an off-road off four-wheel drive version. And now the Scania display. This is a K320 UB chassis. Volga and Optimus from Cranbourne Transit. On a Scania K310 UB chassis. Obviously from Victoria. Uh, Baxter's bus lines. Okay, another look at the Optimus. The Baxter is a Haiga A30, Scania K320 IB chassis. And the next one is a Scania E6 school charter, Scania K320 IB. And as you'll see on this side, it's got Scania Euro 6. And this bus is built by Coach Design. The next display is Irizar with their Irizar i6. First one is Australia wide coaches. And I'll give a squizzy inside this one too. And very luxurious, even though you can't really see. Full leather seat. And once again, this bus has a back door. And I'm going to attempt to walk down them without falling down them. It's a very, very narrow aisle. The King Wong bus, and I'll walk around that Urza a bit more. To be honest, I'm a very, very big fan of the Urza i6 body. and Premier Motor Service, and I'll go to the front of that. And walking towards the Premier Irizar i6, Scania K400 IB, the bus tech CDI from Skybus in Melbourne. That's normal. It's an integral design. Chassis and body are built together and it's powered by a Cummins ISL engine. And I'll give a quick squizzy of the inside. Drives area. And the lower deck, mainly for luggage. There's about eight seats down here in total. So that means most of the seating is upstairs. Upstairs seating facing towards the front and the Volgren Decker in front. 
and then walk towards the rear of the bus. And unlike our CDIs in Sydney, this one has a second staircase going down towards the back of the bus. Passenger display with all the cameras and stuff so you can see where everyone's sitting and available seats. More sitting and the rear door. Something interesting. Car from Back to the Future. Funny enough, with a bus tech logo. 1953 AEC uh, Regent, for some reason carrying a bus tech logo. London Route Master. There you go. And there's the back of the CDI as well. And now the Iveco display. Here is our i6 on Iveco Euro Rider. Um, Iveco Metro built by Express and the two different chassis. And now onto the Volgren display, and this is a Volgren Endura from Premier. On a man 19.320 chassis. I'll give a quick squeeze of the inside. There you go. It's pretty much just a school bus. Looking at the dashboard. Very standard man. And back down the stairs. We have a little dude. And a few more buses from the Volgren display. Forest Marco Polo, Volgren Optimus Decker, and the standard Volgren Optimus. Are you the king of the mountain? No. The challenge is on to get the fast slap around iconic mountain panorama of the Tasman Super Stand 119. Anyway, guys, it's time to wrap the vlog up. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the displays of the 2016 Bus and Coach Show. So, as normal, I'm going to wrap the vlog up. Please subscribe to the channel, like, and throw the video. I will. See you next time.